What's up, boys? I'm back with another viewer build, and this time I'm trying to get four kinetic weapons all to level 18 plus. No conversions, so Tinker is the ideal candidate here, getting a free two levels on every weapon and some extra XP on top of that. Gold is going to be pretty important here, so I can reroll in the shop and any useless level ups I get. I guess I don't mind a bit of pickup radius here. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give That'll help me get a little bit more XP throughout the run, so getting that early can be kind of helpful. I wouldn't mind getting some early scanners for either gold or nitra to help me to re-roll into better stuff, or to get some more weapon levels in the shop. And then Tinker has, I think, four other kinetic weapons, so I can probably hit those early on, but I'll want to have some gold on hand for the later weapons. Those are both kinetic. I think the gun platform is a better weapon. So getting an early gold or nitrous scanner with how much rocks you have to mine through on this map would be quite helpful for the concept. Exemplary work. You've achieved your objective in a wreck of time. Take the reload. To try this out. So I need to get an extra 15 levels on every weapon, which sounds kind of difficult, but you've got the free shops on every level getting some levels, as well as paint jobs every once in a while. So it shouldn't be that hard on Tinkerer. I think most classes could do it, but it would be a lot more difficult for them. A swarm is heading your way. Load up. Go with the level. Go with this. Fire rate, reload speed, pretty good damage increase. Damage, fire rate. I think this will probably reduce my movement speed less overall, so I'm going to take that. Take the paint job, I suppose. Huge mining speed, definitely going to take that on the salt map with all the rocks you have to go through here. Out of these two, I think I will take the purple versus one level. I'm a new dwarf. I should have a bit of leeway with Tinkerer with all the bonuses they have, so if it's that close, I can probably go for the bigger DPS. Help me out in the long term. So I'm looking for the next two weapons. There's the PGL, the Smart Rifle, and the Shredder Swarm that are all kinetic. And I think the PGL is the worst of those, so I would like to avoid that one, but we'll see. Let's see if we can get some rocks to fall on that big horde. Got a level here. Some more rocks to fall on them. Then sweep back around and collect all that XP. Take the level on one of these. They're both pretty good. If I get to level 18 too early, then that's kind of a dead upgrade. Take the reload yes, here, damage here, XP's okay, probably I'll better to grab one. that. Definitely not plasma, weapon range is fine I think. But if I get to level 18, then that's one weapon where levels are kind of useless for the build concept. So you kind of want to spread them out a bit if possible. So Shredder Swarm is also kinetic like and lasting, swarms. but I'm not really getting generic upgrades until much later on, if at all. So that's actually a little bit of a downside. Gotta move it, Miner. The bugs are gunning for you. Try and get some explosions and Think some warthog shots on them. Uh, these are 
not great. I guess crit damage. I do have a decent amount of gold I could reroll. Level there into an overclock. Nope. I don't think that really helps very much. Just gonna take the salvage here. Fire rate pretty nice. If I really wanted to min-max the levels, I could salvage all the overclocks just to get even more levels, but that's kind of silly. I will take a legendary over a green. Try and get some damage on them so they can't scale up too much. You need to move. See eight levels from the next weapon. Probably not going to hit that here. Let's do a reroll. Can get either of those. Let's put some levels there since yes, that's please. pretty far behind. Decent fire rate, sure. Fire rate seems like one of the better stats on the Warthog since it has great base reload speed already. Fire rate, pretty big damage, but eh, I can probably afford to put a couple levels into global upgrades that are useful. If I can get some more detonator AOE going off. Reload. Probably take the higher one here. Higher one there. Paint job would finish that one off. 15% damage. That's okay. Eh. Uh, Sure. Probably do want to take the purple paint jobs when available. Let's grab that one to cover my retreat a bit. I did really like the double bullets on the electrical conversion run though. This just makes it a bit easier to play, I think. Uh, crit chance or that, that's a pretty big difference in rarity. Sure. I can't get enough of this rare stuff. Get to the drop pod so, Kinetic, unfortunately orbit. it's the worst one, but gold's pretty valuable, so I will just go with the guaranteed one there. Got a bunch of levels here, that's 18. Level here, into an overclock, triple that. This one almost makes it too easy. Can I get all that XP up there? Probably not. Level here. I don't want to get too greedy with the global upgrade, so let's go back into some levels. Get, well, fire rate there. These are pretty bad. Should probably reroll. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it hurts. Oh my god, why? I guess some fire rate. That was absolutely not worth it. Diving deeper, taking you to stage two. So the shops are pretty important. Paint jobs are great. I always waste my money on cosmetics. Medium is okay, probably not. I could get one more nitro thing somewhere. Nope. Try again. At green, that's pretty Give efficient. That. Plasma, nope. Explode when they are removed. I'm not actually sure how good that is. I guess I'll grab it. Overclock. Might help with my, my AoE a bit. Projectile is only two weapons. It's not amazing. If I get XP in a shop, it's okay since you're not giving up a level for it, I suppose. Now this is a rare treat. You have your objectives. Get it done, Miner. Ha! Ah, how are they ever gonna make it in this hellhole? 
So a gold or nitrous scanner would still be pretty good. I do have that huge mining speed upgrade to pair with it still. Reload. I think I like that a bit more for the consistency. And turrets actually fully scale with reload speed anyways. Can't drop supplies for you yet. Prep the landing zone for impact. Reload. Let's grab that to spread the levels a little bit. Didn't see that coming, sucker. <laughs> no scanners. These are all pretty bad. That's okay at some points. That's okay. I guess I'll try that. Feels rare. Feels right. Level here. Don't if I do. Think you could kill me? Well, think again. Swarm detected. Get ready. He'll be with you shortly. Pretty big movement speed. I think I will take that. Well, that's 18 I'll anyway, so one. there's not really even a choice there. Gun platform level. I'll take it. The gun platform now level. This is a rare treat. Objective completed. So I definitely need some levels on that. This is the best power-wise since I'll that could go up to 18, but having two weapons completely useless for the goal would be a lot harder to get good upgrades. I feel like there should be a bit more nitro somewhere. I have barely anything there. There's a lot of stalactites over here to knock onto the hordes. Try and get some AoE farming going on. That didn't seem that great. Oh, there's the, some nitra. Some reload. HP might be nice, I guess. Try and get some damage on the elites wherever I can. It's actually kind of hard to clear a path this run. Grab the shredder, I suppose. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Could get some big AoE with two of these right next to each other. Reload 
good there's pretty nice got some nice detonator hits there as well nice aoe farming may as well grab the crit at the warthog is there gun platform that will finish that one off but it's the only level here massive fire rate increase should be pretty helpful with the single target damage and with mining Warthog doesn't really help. I do have a decent amount of gold. Sure, why not? Get yourself onto that drop part. It's about to head out. That doesn't really help. I don't mind a little bit of HP this here though. Well done, miner. We knew we could trust you to go it alone. Stage two completed. So now there's a bit of a problem since there's only two useful things for the build to level up. Pretty nice reload speed. This is gonna help me be a perfect, let's shake it up. And then you get rerolls like this where there's nothing. Mm, what else? Paint job is pretty Feels helpful. Like a brand new gun now. Triple just seems way better there. Says it's time to See kill. what else we got. Surely next time will be better. That helps, but it's really expensive. Eh, probably look for some other stuff. Let's shake it up. That doesn't really help. I guess I should probably save a bit for now. Your mission is clear. Get to it. Ha! I made the right choice. This is becoming root. Oh, I needed that. Maybe I should have gone for just the absolute maximum of weapon level as possible with all the paint jobs available. Prepare to fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. You're cute, but you're dead. Too much crap in the way. Supplies can't land. Clear it I out, miner. So I think I would still take a gold or nitro scanner if there isn't anything amazing there. Objective All this completed. mining speed would Excellent still be job. pretty valuable. Uh, that's 18, so that's fine. Pretty floor. good damage increase. So, Pickled Nitro or Divers, that's a lot of damage, it's pretty good, probably take that, I'll take this one. although I will be kind of slow, take a level into I that, into the second overclock, always take the reload speed for that one. Let's see if I can set off the detonators early, get some big AoE in there. I guess I will take one of these. Pretty big damage increase still. Magnet in the bottom left. Those are all, well, that's not 18 me. yet, so that's helpful. Thought it was the Warthog at first there. These guys are dying pretty quickly with the huge pickled Nitra. I actually meant to save that for a little bit. Oops. 
That's helpful. Now, this is a rare That's helpful. Just what I needed. That's helpful. Sure. Why not? I do still need a decent amount of work from the Drum shops, the but there's Get another the the two the shops left. Is not going to hang so I might need a little bit of luck on the PGL. And that's if a little bit. So another four that's and seven point. levels total Change should be doable. Four, PGL there, that's okay. My pick. Probably take the explosion Drop radius, make box. the AoE a bit better. Definitely some movement this speed help to help out with my hard. artifacts. Crit's not Dimmy bad. Gives. Next. Nothing amazing here. Let me try again. That helps a yeah. little bit. This is it. I actually do like no some more CDs movement speed. Day. What else we got? That's fantastic. So is that. I can unfortunately only get one of them, so it's gotta go there. And then I'm actually pretty close now. Grab a little bit of no HP. I need three and two with one more shop and around eight more levels, depending on how much XP I get. Tinker can go slightly higher. Kind of wish I just grabbed all the paint jobs and went for the absolute maximum level possible, though, just for the lulls. I don't think I've seen a single gold or nitrous scanner, though. That would have been very helpful early on. Yes. The swarm is heading your way. Load up. I think the biggest issue is just that your damage scaling is pretty bad since you're getting almost no global upgrades. Let's clear them out. Go ahead and put some rocks on those guys to help clear that area out a bit. Big swarm detected. Bug up and get ready. Crit chance. I need three and two. Eh, I'm just gonna play it safe here. Don't want to fail at the finish line. I got it. Supply pod LZ is full of crap. Please clear it out. Reload speed there. That would give me the 18, Just but it also removes one of them from the useful pool. Life and HP regions, pretty nice. I've been taking a lot of hits this run. There was quite a bit of XP from those explosions up here. Reload speed. I think I will take such a huge increase over that one though. Warthog is probably one of my top weapons on this run. Never felt better. Completed. Go for some stalactite drops. Ugly, son of a bitch. 
that puts that up to 18, and then I need this two more on the Shredder. Additional Before time in the opposite direction to match the Warthog. Now I've got lots of back shots. are both maxed. Let's do a reroll. I have a lot of gold compared to Nitra. I need two more levels on the Shredder, so I'm probably fine to take that. Now, this is a rare treat. Still have another shot to go as well. I have all of those max. Let's go for a reroll. Um, kind of running out. Might look for some more. That's helpful. Need, it. Need just one more level now. Should be doable now. Excellent work, Miner. Stage complete. Onwards to stage five. That will do it the cheapest, and we have all level 18 kinetic weapons, so I can go ahead and just get some good upgrades here. This is gonna help me be a perfect dwarf. I want another go! Can't really grab any of that. That's fine. I think this both works. of those are some of my top weapons anyways. This is it. Destroy the cocoons and take out the dreadnought. Good luck, miner. Alright, the drones are starting to lag really badly. Oh god. Crazy what that one weapon can do to you sometimes. I'm not really even built for it either. I don't have any other drone weapons or any other throwable weapons to increase the reload speed on it. It's only level 18. Almost no global upgrades to improve it either. The PGL is kind of creating pretty big explosions also though. Those guys are just completely bugged out, what? That's pretty good. Oh my god, the FPS, what is going on? I don't think I normally lag with just the Shredder Swarm, so it must be some combo here. Since it's still happening a bit, even with the numbers turned off. Oh 
Oh my god, the FPS here. What is going on? I think I've already been down here. Get out of here. Pretty good reload speed. Boss should be coming out soon, so I can grab the magnet to try to get this area set up. Oh my, the FPS. Damage is okay. Should be enough time to get this now. Oh, it's not even set up. Oops. Bait that out and now it should be enough time. Stand clear. Supply pod inbound. What a shot! Probably just the yes, kinetic. Say hello to my little friend. Gold is perfect Got here. You ugly Try and get a lot of damage off before I lag out here. I actually have the same damage both in front and behind since both of those weapons shoot behind me and then those are constructs that just go everywhere. So that's it for the viewer build, all level 18 plus kinetic weapons. If you have any builds you would like to see, feel free to leave them in the comments and I might get to them eventually, I might not, who knows. But if you liked the video, a like or a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. So, I actually have three weapons extremely close. Interesting. thought the Warthog was a little bit better there. But, yeah, the Deep Core is pretty weak. Could use some buffs on that. But it was the slowest to get level 18. Or was it? Wasn't the Shredder pretty slow as well? Oh well, not too bad. A little bit weak on the single target, but pretty good AoE, but it was extremely laggy FPS-wise towards the end, so probably don't recommend playing it. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.